If you follow the hip hop community, you've probably heard of Lyrical Lemonade. It's the channel behind some of the most colourful and unique music videos, and also serves as a launchpad for upcoming rappers and singers to blow up and go mainstream. So who really is behind Lyrical Lemonade, and how did it help artists such as Juice World, Lil Tecca, and Jack Harlow go viral? Lyrical Lemonade was originally founded by Cole Bennett, an American music video director and videographer, back in 2013. Growing up in Plano, Illinois, Cole stated that hip-hop wasn't particularly popular among the locals, with most people listening to country music. It wasn't until when his older sister introduced him to rap music that he began falling in love with the genre. Listen to 50 Cent, that was way more exciting to me than listening to a country song. In his junior year of high school, after taking multimedia classes, Cole started making music videos for his friends and local artists for fun. As he continued pursuing his passion for hip-hop and music, he knew he wanted to expand his vision of Lyrical Lemonade further. This was also the time when the Chicago music scene started blowing up, with artists such as Chief Keef and Chance the Rapper taking the rap industry by storm. Knowing that he wanted to be part of the new wave and being only an hour away from Chicago, Cole started taking regular trips to the city, attending live shows, filming content, and making connections. Shortly after, Cole launched the Lyrical Lemonade website, which featured a blog that covered the underground hip-hop scene and promoted upcoming artists and rappers. Finding success in his community, Cole expanded Lyrical Lemonade to a multimedia company, booking his first show in a small rehearsal room called The Music Garage in Chicago for $150, where he would invite upcoming artists to perform for free and offer free admission to the show. To his surprise, over 100 people showed up throughout the night. This would serve as a pivotal moment for Cole, as he saw his vision of Lyrical Lemonade coming to life, and he would later go on to book bigger and bigger shows. In early 2016, Cole would book Lil Uzi Vert, who was still an upcoming artist at the time, for only $8,000, with the show in Chicago selling out within weeks. This success would prompt Cole to drop out of film school at DePaul University in order to solely focus on expanding Lyrical Lemonade. Kind of what I wanted to do with Lyrical Lemonade and what it's become, it was, it was taking a very uh, different route. So I knew that to, to follow the story that I want to create, it couldn't be done through, you know, the narrative of, of film school. And On top of organizing and booking shows, Cole would continue shooting music videos for various artists. And in March of 2016, he would shoot his first viral music video for Famous Dex's Hit Him With It, which would then hit over a million views at the time. From there, the Lyrical Lemonade YouTube channel would continue expanding, with Cole releasing more and more content. This was also the era where SoundCloud rappers were on the rise, which, combined with Cole's unique visual effects, could put artists into the mainstream spotlight with a single music video. One of the earliest examples of this was a music video of Lil Xan's first and only hit song, Betrayed, back in 2017, which would attract over 200 million views and result in the song achieving certified platinum status in America. Along with this project, Cole would also collaborate with other upcoming SoundCloud rappers such as Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, Ski Master Slump God, and Lil Skies, whose music videos would also amass hundreds of millions of views. Although Lyrical Lemonade was achieving huge success, it was only the beginning of what was yet to come. Baby called me and, uh, and he's like, I have this artist that I want you to manage. And he sent me Juice's music and this before anyone had known who Juice was and the first song he sent me was All Girls Are The Same and Lucid Dreams. In early 2018, Cole was introduced to Juice World by rapper and record executive Lil Bibby, who at the time had signed Juice World under his label Grade A Productions. Bibby had asked Cole if he wanted to manage Juice World, but Cole declined, instead offering to shoot music videos for Juice World's upcoming singles, All Girls Are The Same and Lucid Dreams. At that time, Juice World was still relatively unknown in the hip hop space, having only around 2,000 followers. But that would soon change on February 16, 2018, when Lyrical Lemonade uploaded Juice World's All Girls Are The Same music video, which would skyrocket to 5 million views in less than a month with the song eventually going 8 times certified platinum in America. Three months later, in May 2018, Cole would upload Juice WRLD's Lucid Dreams music video, which would amass up to 900 million views as of date, and result in the song ascending to 9th place on the Billboard Hot 100 only a month after its release, with 35 million streams. Lucid Dreams would eventually achieve 11 times certified platinum status, and is currently Lyrical Lemonade's most viewed music video to date. Following the release of his two music videos directed by Cole, Juice World would go on to sign with Interscope Records for $3 million, 
and eventually go on to achieve mainstream success. Another artist that would benefit from Cole Bennett's unique music videos was Lil Tecca, who in 2018 was relatively unknown until his hit music video titled Ransom was uploaded to the Lyrical Lemonade channel on May 22nd, 2019. The music video would pull in 10 million views within two weeks, with it currently sitting at over 400 million views. The song debuted at number 93 on the Billboard Hot 100, eventually rising to fourth place only a few months later, with over 680 million streams worldwide and going four times certified platinum in America. Lil Tecca would then go on to release his debut mixtape titled We Love You Tecca later that year in August 2019 which would debut at number 4 on the US Billboard 200 chart and achieve certified platinum status. The most recent artist that would find mainstream success following the release of their music video on Lyrical Lemonade's channel would be Jack Harlow. Although Harlow was a promising upcoming rapper back in 2018, having his debut mixtape titled Loose being nominated at the 2019 BET Awards, the release of his music video titled What's Poppin' on the Lyrical Lemonade channel in January 2020 would propel his career into the mainstream spotlight. The video would attract over 5 million views within a week, and shortly after, the song would peak at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. What's Poppin' would eventually go 7 times certified platinum, with Harlow releasing a remix with Tory Lanez, The Baby, and Lil Wayne that would peak at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. There have also been other previously upcoming artists that have benefited from Cole Bennett's music videos, with prominent examples being The Kid Leroy and Central C. Although the release of their music videos on the Lyrical Lemonade channel grew their popularity, many of these artists had already found major success prior to this. Unlike Juice WRLD, Lil Tecca and Jack Harlow, who all did not find mainstream success until they collaborated with Cole Bennett. Many would argue that the reason that Lyrical Lemonade's music videos would go viral is because of Cole's unique style and editing skills, from his flashy outline effects in his earliest music videos, to more trippy and distorted effects in his later videos. Combined with Cole's unique directing skills, this made up a truly hypnotic viewing experience that had previously never been seen before. This would only contribute to the rapid growth in popularity of the Lyrical Lemonade brand over the years with the YouTube channel currently sitting at 21 million subscribers and featuring collaborations with the likes of major artists such as Post Malone, Eminem and Justin Bieber. To this day, Cole Bennett remains a prominent figure in the music industry, with his Lyrical Lemonade channel and brand playing a major role in influencing the new wave of music videos that we see today. Who would know that the one person who would start all of this was once a country boy from a small town in Illinois.